Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I wanted to share with you a recipe for strawberry cream scuffins. This is a mix between a scone and a muffin and it will be great for breakfast, for brunch, or you could have it in the afternoon with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Most of the ingredients that you're going to need to make this recipe will be listed in the information box below. You can find it on my Roku channel or my website. I also wanted to mention that I have links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Blog Lovin, and uh, my website underneath the video as well. If you're interested, click on there and um, you can like it or subscribe. These are the ingredients that you're going to need. You'll need butter, an egg, heavy cream, sugar, baking powder, salt, all-purpose flour, strawberry jam or preserves, some chopped strawberries. Now for the scuffin icing or frosting, you will need powdered sugar, cream, and vanilla extract. You need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you need to line a muffin pan with some cupcake liners, and you also need to spray them with cooking spray. To start the recipe, I have broken my egg in this bowl. I'm going to add my cream. And I'm going to whisk this together until it's all nicely incorporated. And now what I want to do, since I've done that, is I'm going to take a tablespoon, I'm going to remove two tablespoons of this mixture and put it in another bowl. And we're just going to set that aside and move on to the next step. The next step is to take a large bowl and put in my flour, the salt, sugar, and baking powder. I'm just going to stir this together with a whisk to get it all mixed together nicely. That's good. And I'm going to add my butter. And I have a pastry blender here, and I'm just going to start cutting the butter into the flour until it's coarse looking. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, I have my butter all cut into this flour mixture. So now what I'm going to do is set that aside, and I'm going to stir in my strawberries. Gently do this so that I don't break them up. And now I'm going to make a well in the middle of this mixture and add my egg and cream mixture to this. And I'm just going to start incorporating that. I've switched over to a fork and I'm just going to continue mixing this together until it's incorporated, just until it's moistened. And it's going to be a very crumbly mixture. So I'm going to continue with that and then I'll be back to show you what the next step is. Okay, this mixture looks uh, pretty moistened now. Like I said, it's going to be crumbly. So I'm going to start filling up my muffin cups. You're going to want to fill these up about a third of the way, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. So I'm going to just start taking some in this spoon and spooning it in. And I'm going to continue on with all of these. These are all filled, so now what I'm going to do is take my thumb and make an indention in the middle of the muffin to all of them. Continue on until I have them all done. Okay, so I have my indentions in all of these, and so now what I'm going to do is take the strawberry jam, preserves, or jelly, whatever it is that you have, and put a teaspoon in the middle of the scuffin where I did the indention with my finger. So we're going to do all of those. I've finished filling the middle of the scuffin, so now what I'm going to do is cover them with some more of the dough. 
just going to fill each one of them, cover up the, the jelly or the preserves, like I said, or whatever it is that you have chosen to use. Let's go ahead and spoon more over, completely covering it up. So I have them all covered. So now what I'm going to do is take the reserved egg and cream mixture and just brush it on top of each one. Now that these are all brushed, we're going to put them in the preheated 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes. While the scuffins are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make the frosting, the glaze, or the icing, whatever you want to call it. it. Depends on how thick you want it. So I have my powdered sugar in my measuring cup along with this cream. This is heavy whipping cream. And I also have a little bit more here just in case I want to uh, make it a consistency that will uh, just pour over my scuffins. And here's the vanilla. I'm just going to whisk this together. And I can see that it's going to be a little bit thick, so I'm going to add a teaspoon at a time of the heavy cream until I get it to the consistency that I want it to uh, pour over the scuffins. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'm going to set this aside, and when my scuffins are out of the oven, we're going to put the um, frosting on them. My scuffins are done. They cooked for 25 minutes, and now what I've done is taken them out of the oven, put them on a cooling rack, and I'm going to let them sit here on the cooling rack in the pan for about five minutes before I take them out and put the icing on. I have removed the scuffins from the baking pan, and what I have here is a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I have my cooling rack on top, and I have the scuffins sitting directly on the cooling rack. This is going to make easier cleanup when I drizzle the frosting over in case I uh, any of it uh, falls over the side of the muffins. So what I'm going to do is just start drizzling. I think I'll just do it with my whisk. And I'm just going to drizzle some of this icing on all of them. And then I will come back and show you what they look like. These are all iced, and so now I'm going to put them on a cake plate and show you what they look like. So here are my strawberry scuffins. I hope you enjoy them.